Few catastrophes in the world are as dire as landslides, which kill the most people globally in Asia and South America and the Caribbean islands. Landslides cause injury, property damage and in some cases death, and they exploit resources indiscriminately, affecting water supplies, fisheries, sewage systems, forests and roads. Landslides occur on slopes that are already on the verge of movement due to heavy rainfall, snowmelt, stream erosion, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions and human disturbance, or even combinations of these factors can cause landslides. Today we're going to take a look at some of the biggest landslides ever photographed. Before we get started, take this pop quiz, which isn't what causes landslides. Earthquakes, fires, wind erosion and volcanic eruptions. Please write your answer in the comments, let's get started, we will tell you the answer. 10th place, ST Helen Volcano. An intrepid student managed to capture footage of the world's largest and most dangerous landslide, a colossal landslide in 1980 that opened up like a freshly shaken soda camp and the side of the mountain crashed collapsed, all the volcanic gas was coming out of the side, and the velocity of this explosion was 670 miles per hour. It caused landslides and destroyed trees, homes and wildlife within 13 kilometers, and in an area 21 kilometers from the volcano, the explosion toppled trees and crashed to the ground. Even if it wasn't enough, a second explosion followed, sending a mushroom cloud 12 miles into the air, killing 57 people in the disaster. Its effects were felt in the ensuing months as unemployment in nearby areas rose tenfold and landslides are not unheard of in volcanic cones, after all, they are tall and steep, fragile as lava rises and erupts. Ninth Place, Gilgit Baltistan, Pakistan In October, a particularly heavy monsoon in Pakistan caused a landslide that destroyed a passenger vehicle and killed 16 people, including four Pakistani army officials. They were also severely damaged by urban flooding in August and early September. The landslide in this video happened in the northern part of the Gilgit Baltistan region, which is adjacent to four large mountains. They are all prone to landslides. The bus was struck by the landslide into a ditch next to the road, where it was buried under mud and rocks. 8th place, Sierra Landslide, Florida. Coastlines in various countries have a high chance of landslides, which is understandable, Florida weather, full of bad sediment, extreme rainfall on steep slopes and cliffs, these were all big contributors to the catastrophe of August 14, 2017, a year that saw 20 inches more rain than usual, and the soil can only absorb so much before reaching a breaking point. This breaking point usually occurs in the form of runoff. But in this case it went into cracks and crevices and lubricated the ground on top of the mountain. Eventually, an unstable clod was pulled down by gravity and knocked down all the trees. A deadly landslide crashed through torrents of dirty brown water flooding the streets of Sierra Leone, Florida. According to AIDS Relief, more than 600 people are missing here and about 300 were found dead. More bodies were found washing up on beaches, and landslides tended to repeat in the same spot, as each landslide made the land more fragile and unstable. Any steep slope composed of very fragile materials can and will experience landslides. 7th Place, Landslides in Sri Lanka South Asia's monsoons are unsympathetic, with torrential rains causing power shortages at best and chaotic devastation at worst. Their destructive power has been strong over the past few years, thanks to rapid local transformation in farming, irrigation with aerosol emissions, rising greenhouse gases and a warming Indian Ocean. In 2016, this resulted in a massive landslide that crashed into three villages in Sri Lanka, leaving more than 200 families missing, perhaps buried under the rubble. Sixteen bodies were found, 180 people were rescued, and more than 300 soldiers joined local residents to help dig up dirt and rubble to find more bodies. The total population of these villages is unknown, but villages of this size often have no more than 1,500 people. Number 6, Big Sur, California. This time it was caught on camera from space, and it's on such a grand scale. Satellite images of the California coastline released in 2017 are jaw-dropping. 
The landslide sent more than a million tons of rock and dirt across Highway 1, which overlooks the Pacific Ocean. It's not uncommon for smaller landslides to impact and alter larger landslides along the state's coastline. Much of California's coastline is vulnerable. They're all prone to collapse, but luckily those areas don't have a lot of people. The damage covered approximately 0.3 miles of road and caused 16 acres of land to be washed out of residential areas as the landslides occurred. It resulted in Highway 1 being closed for a year while restoration works are underway, and while it is now open, the risk here is not diminished. The fifth place is the Panji Valley in Urban. Panji Valley is a small town next to the road to Manali. It is located in a remote area with rugged terrain and backward development. The inhabitants of the Panji Valley live at altitudes between 700 and 11,000 feet. Here is a small mountain pass called Luotang Pass. From mid-June to October, it is only open to vehicles, but due to heavy snow, it is closed most of the time, it is actually one of the most dangerous roads in the world, even if it's open to such a remote location. Natural disasters are serious here, with landslides this year causing massive damage to apple orchards in the area, and workers here were scrambling to find safety when the boulders fell. Footage of a boulder falling on a house, killing a 40-year-old man as it breaks off a mountain and falls, is horrifying and it was filmed by some workers. Fourth place, Vargas Tragedy. The Vargas tragedy happened in Venezuela in the winter of 1999. Their infrastructure collapsed when heavy rains caused flash floods and soil erosion, which killed tens of thousands of people. They were buried under nearly 10 feet of soil, and many homes were washed into the sea. I don't know what else to do, we are waiting for God's help. Entire towns completely disappeared and 10% of the population died in the disaster. The state's coast has experienced mudslides and flooding before, but not to this extent, and that was in the tragedy of 1999. The most recent one, in 1951, involved far less rainfall, landslides and rock debris. The 1991 storm dumped 35.9 inches of rain in just a few days, which, needless to say, was highly unusual. It caused massive soil destabilization as well as mudslides, here are three films about the Vargas tragedy, all made by Venezuelan filmmakers who released them in 2011 to show the impact of the event on Vargas' lasting impact on the Sri Lankan people. Third place, Thistle City, Utah. In April 1983, the city of Thistle in Utah was a ghost town at best, it was in a canyon in Spain, a huge landslide once happened here. Even with a dam on the river, 85 million cubic meters of water flooded the town and it was completely destroyed, but residents were able to evacuate safely and only a few buildings survived, almost none. Populations downstream of the dam are at risk as landslides could be flooded by the lake, which would cause a catastrophic eruption of the dam and massive flooding downstream in what the federal and state governments have commented could be the costliest mountain in history landslide. During the reconstruction, a drainage system was designed to drain the lake, avoiding a potential disaster, and you can still see some remnants of this ghost town if you drive along US 89 or take a California transit train. Now is the time to check out today's subscriber picks, and remember, if you find funny or quirky images online and you can't explain them, please send it to us and we'll look into it, we might even feature it in a future video. Today's picture is of a landslide in the middle of the highway, blocking traffic. On April 25, 2010, a magnitude 6 earthquake struck the entire territory of Taiwan, and a total of four cars are believed to have been buried as one side of a mountain collapsed, covering the entire width of the expressway with a length of 300 meters, while the U.S. Geological Survey the Taiwan Bureau of Meteorology put the depth of the quake at 6 miles, and Taiwan's Central Meteorological Bureau said it was 12 miles deep. In second place, Mount Kalud is a volcano on the island of Java, Indonesia. It is an active stratigraphic volcano on the Indonesian island of Java, and like most other Indonesian volcanoes, Kalud has historically been known for massive explosive eruptions. More than 30 eruptions have occurred in the last century alone, the last in 2014, destroying the lava dome and projecting huge boulders and ash 500 kilometers away. 
But the worst of these was in 1919 when more than 40 million cubic meters of water gushed out of the crater at incredible speed, often in short but violent eruptions from the lake and Clud crater, the eruption creates mudslides that cause death and destruction. 100 villages were destroyed and 5,000 people died. Clud may be a small volcano compared to the other volcanoes in the Ring of Fire, but it's just as dangerous as the others due to the lake on its summit, and the frequency of its eruptions. The volcanic eruption in the 1919 landslide was so destructive in fact that the Indonesian Volcanic Survey was formed and their first task was to drain the lake of Kalud. They had some earlier attempts due to the known frequency of Kalud volcano eruptions, and after this highly destructive eruption, the authorities decided to dig a tunnel to prevent the tragedy of 1919 from happening again. Before we continue, we have a challenge, within the next 5 seconds, hit the subscribe button and hit that bell icon and you will be notified when we upload. Do this and you will win the lottery. Oh, try it, it works. First place, the Huskaran Gravel Avalanche in Peru. On May 31, 1970, the Ancoche earthquake in Peru caused a large mudslide that landed in a small town and 10 other villages, and there is also a mountain whose northern peak was for quite some time considered is unstable, and a minor collapse occurred here in 1962. Several villages near Ongai were destroyed, the only reason for the damage caused by this bigger avalanche is that the government did not warn the locals, they stopped the news from spreading and asked people not to panic, which means they did not deal with this measure of the scale of the disaster. 95% of the buildings were destroyed. The Ancosh earthquake, which measured 7.9 on the Richter scale, damaged a glacier near the snow-capped mountain, and the glacier flowed down the slope in a mudslide as it collected earth, rock and water. It killed a staggering 25,000 people, making it possibly the deadliest avalanche or glacier-related disaster ever recorded, and only 400 people are known to have survived the massive earthquake in Peru. Debris covered 3,700 acres and reached a depth of 20 meters in some places. These buildings were buried under 5 meters or 16 feet of rubble, they were buried under the dirt in the city and eventually washed away in a few days, only large rocks were left here, even today you can see can see. These are the deadliest and largest landslides ever photographed, now you can answer the question we asked at the beginning of the video, wind erosion doesn't cause landslides, did you get it right? I think these catastrophes are calling us to be prepared, properly protect our environment, and most importantly, never forget that the earth has terrible and powerful capabilities. If you like this video, remember to give us a like, there are other similar videos in our playlist, you can click to watch. Thanks for watching, see you next time.